What's up guys, my name is Andrew, also known as Wayne the Maker, and this is Upcycle. I'm all about DIY fashion and using upcycling to construct or reconstruct garments. Whether it's hopping on new trends or experimenting with new styles, there's nothing more satisfying than creating your own piece of clothing that nobody else has. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking an old pair of jeans and turning them into a denim tote. One thing I like about this project is that it really preserves the shape of the pants. So, let's get into it. So for this project, we're gonna need some sewing pins, something to measure with, something to cut with, some chalk, and if you have a loop turner, that's perfect, but I'm gonna show you how to make that with a shoestring as well. So first step, you're gonna wanna fold your jeans in half just like this and make sure they're even at the top and lay them out on a flat surface. We're going to cut about six inches down from the inseam. At this point, you kinda have free range to determine where you wanna cut and that'll determine the size and depth of the bag. So now that we have the legs cut off, we're gonna set those to the side, open the pants up like this, and then we're gonna cut open this inseam. So when you lay it flat, you'll notice that we have this ridge right here from the crotch area, and we gotta get rid of that just to make the bag shape more cohesive. Just pinch the end right here and start cutting. And we're gonna do the same thing on the back. Turn these pants inside out, and you're just gonna pin along this seam right here. We got the back part pinned up, so we're gonna do the same thing on the front. We're ready to sew. We're just gonna use a straight stitch with about a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that we have these two seams sewn up, we're just gonna pin this bottom seam, making sure that these pieces are even. Now that it's pinned, same thing as the size. And I'm using white thread for this project. We're gonna go on these corners, and we're gonna take it and turn it and pinch them just like this. I measure down three inches from the peak of that triangle. So this step that we're doing right now is gonna add some structure to the bag so it just doesn't sit flat on your side. So once again, I'm just gonna use that straight stitch and then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now that we made those stitches, we're just gonna trim off this excess right here. You can see that what we just did added that width right there on both sides. So for the straps, we're gonna take those legs that we cut off and we're just gonna cut open each one along the inseam. Lay open that leg part and the first step I like to do is trim this excess here just so I know that I have a straight line. And now I'm going to measure five inches across. I'm just gonna place the ruler and use those markers to line everything up. So once you have the first one made, the others are really easy. You can kind of just place that and use it as a guide to cut around. So now that we have these two pieces for the straps, we're just gonna line them up right sides facing together and we're gonna go ahead and sew. Once again, using a quarter inch seam allowance. All right, this piece is definitely longer than 36 inches. Measure 36 inches. So now that we have the length of our strap, we're gonna have to sew this seam right here and then turn it inside out. If you have a loop turner, go ahead and use that. But since we don't, I'm gonna show you how to do it using a shoelace. We're just gonna lay it out kind of in the middle of our strap here and then we're gonna pinch it in this crease right here. Sew that into place, pin along this seam here. And as you're sewing, you just wanna make sure, feel that that shoelace is not getting up under this seam right here. It's time to pull this thing through. All right, so I'm just still working it through. And you see how I'm kinda of going back and forth, doing one side and then going to the other side. Done with that, just turn this side out. We're just gonna get rid of the shoelace. I'm going to do a top stitch on both sides of the strap. You're gonna repeat this process using the other leg part to make another strap that looks just like this. Now that we have these, it's time to attach it to the bag. So we're gonna repeat this process for all four straps and I'm just finishing up this last one here. We are done. We got four straps attached, nice and secure. Let's go see how it looks on. So, here it is, the denim tote bag. I like this project because it preserves the shape of the jeans. It really looks like a real pair of denim just on your side. You have the side pocket and the back pocket that are still fully functional, as well as a lot of space on the inside. So if you have some old pants that are damaged or just too big, too small, this is a really good project for that. Instead of getting rid of them, you can just go ahead and make this a nice denim tote. And once again, I'm Wendy the Maker, and I'll catch you back here for the next episode of Upcycled.